Alright guys, welcome back then. So, in this part we are going to be starting off against uh, Peterborough, uh, and this is the LDV Vans Trophy, which, uh, like I said in the last part, I think is the equivalent of the Football League Trophy, so another cup for us um, to take part in. So hopefully uh, today we can uh, do well in this. I believe Peterborough are in League 1 though, um, so I honestly think they are. Um, so this might be a difficult match, um, so we need to try and beat these guys if we can, and if we do that, uh, we can maybe progress in this cup as well and get a bit far. Um, I'm sticking with the 4-4-2. I kind of forgot about the fact that I do use the 4-3-3 in cups, um, so I may change it up like uh, a little bit later on in the match. Um, I'm hoping that we can get through, because it would be really nice to get through, and Scartacini can't get through there. Um, so yeah. But uh, no, we've been doing really well. You know, we've got through in the League Cup. Well, that is a good save. I'll give them that one. That was a really good killing effort there by, uh, I think it was Scartacini, that one. And uh, and that, so. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're making a bit of a positive start to this one so far. Uh, um, try and run through here if possible. If possible. Uh, no, we can't. Uh, um. No, in the uh, in the last part we got through in the cup, and then uh, I think we beat was it Bristol Rovers three uh, nil beforehand in the, uh, before the cup, and then uh, we ended off with a defeat to to Yeovil. So we need to kind of bounce back from that, and hopefully we can with a good cup uh, run. But uh, no, 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 it's not going to happen if we concede goals like that. Uh, I think I might just change the formation here and now back to 4-3-3, but it means having to bring off one of my midfielders possibly to put an extra striker up. Uh, Clark is on the bench, so I might just have to do that. It might get him back on good form as well to do that. Kind of wishing that I remembered to use the 4-3-3 now, but oh well. Alright, so I have changed to 4-3-3 now, um, and I have uh, brought on Clark uh, for one of my midfielders that I didn't um, didn't want to play. So yeah, I am changing up things quite early in this one with that early uh, goal going in there. I'm going to lay off and shot for this one. I mean, it's quite some distance out, but eh, whatever, you know. I guess it wouldn't hurt to have a pop-up goal. Honestly, that looks pretty good. What's going to happen here? And a good turn away there. It was a good effort, that. Considering the distance. And it's going to be into the middle. Oh, I can't get it in there. And, well, I thought that was in for a second there. Yeah, the captain shot. Oh, oh it wasn't far off at all. Just a little bit less power. Oh, here they come. They're going to whip this one in. We have to get it away, and it's 2-0. Oh, and that is terrible. I don't want. I really don't want us to go out in round one, but that's the way it's looking right now, unless we pull ourselves out of this. It was in there. Nobody picked it up. There was two defenders there. Shouldn't be allowing that, and the goalkeeper couldn't get to it either. We shouldn't be conceding things like that, I don't think. You know, when, we, when you consider that we pulled pretty much... We picked everything out of the air that Millsborough threw at us that time. And we did really well, and we just let things like that in. You know, that, that, that's kind of like two balls over the top where we've conceded in, in this game so far. So, that's not good. And here they come again, here they come again. Is it going to be? It's not. It's a weir. Oh my gosh, that could have been 3 0. We are struggling in this one so far. It might prove a little bit too much for us, this one. I mean, we've got Man United coming up next month. Um, close to Christmas in the game. And, uh, like, uh, I just I feel like, you know, if we can't beat, you know, Peterborough, then we don't stand a chance against them, do we? I mean, we beat Middlesbrough. For s Middlesbrough didn't play well, they just didn't come out, really, against us. But, 
Yeah, that is half time, and that is a very poor first half from us. We need to improve quick. So second half, going to keep everything the same. Uh, we need two goals, though. Um, I'm thinking. Um, I really want to try and maybe play the play it down the wings more, a bit wider, and hopefully that might work for us. But I want to. I kind of want our options in the middle, uh, so I'm going to stick with four three three. Um, and hopefully that might work. But, uh, I, I think all of our um, our League Cup games have been actually at home so far, which is kind of weird. I think, anyway. And is it going to be? It really should have. It really, really should have there. Unbelievable. Here they come. Ugh, we have to get this one away. And it's wide. That was a good shot, to be honest, considering the circumstances there. The situation. Thought it was a goal. Surely this has to be a goal. Is that a free kick? It is. Is he going to send him off? Possibly. No, it is a yellow instead. We really need to score from this one now. Really need to score from it. Well, might as well just go for it then. It looks good, it looks good. Is it going to be the... Oh, it's not going to be, unfortunately. Uh, it just had to be. We need a goal now. We need it now, and... We're not going to get it. I'm just going to kind of pile everyone up. I've changed the formation into a really, like, sort of weird formation. It's kind of like a... Oh, gosh... It's, it's kind of like a, um, I don't know, it's like a 3-1-2 formation or something like that. No, they've, they've just been way too much for us today, way too much for us. Our team can't handle this, no will. Maybe the difficulty will be there if uh, we stick with Darlington and try to take them through the leagues. Now that I kind of think about it, but uh, no, we're definitely out at round one. I think the League Cup is where we um, might stand our best chance. We've still got FA Cup though coming up next, so we need to make sure we bounce back if we can uh, in that one. No, it's just not been our day at all in this one. Haven't really had a chance. You know, maybe we could. Salvage something here, though. Who knows? A bit of pride, possibly. I don't know. Maybe. Here we are. Here's Wayne Wright. He's going to try and get it in. It's away. No, that's full time. That was just our worst, one of our worst performances yet. Um, I think didn't we lose like three 0 to Cambridge or something like that? But I think that was definitely a lot worse than that. That's definitely our worst performance. Well, we have been eliminated there, uh, as you can see today, the LVD Vans Trophy. Fans left disappointed but proud of the club's efforts. I wouldn't really be proud of that effort, to be honest. Uh, wait till next year, said one of the fearful uh, clad cladding. Um, disappointed, extremely proud of the club and the effort they put in today's match. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not at all. <laughs> uh, oh well. Well, anyway, welcome back, and uh, this time we're going to be in the FA Cup this time, or English Cup as it's called in the game back then, and uh, we're going to be taking on Southend. If I remember correctly, uh, we played Southend earlier this season, and I think we drew against them, if I'm if I'm correct about saying that. Uh, um, now we've had two defeats on the bounce now, uh, one in the uh, the league and one in the uh, the uh, football league trophy. Um, so we really do need to bounce back and hopefully we can get past Southend in the uh, the FA Cup. I want to see how far we can go in the FA Cup as well. I've gone back to the 4-3-3 for this one uh, again. So uh, here we go then, then the match kicks off. So yeah, we really have to try and put in a better performance than we did in the last game. Uh, I mean, saying that, I mean, uh, Peterborough were just all over us, wasn't they? I mean, uh, I know we were really kind of trying, but we just, uh, whatever we did, we just didn't, it just didn't pull through for us. Every, everything we tried, we just didn't, it's as if we just ran out of ideas in the end, and we just didn't know what to do. Um, so we just kind of have to 
move on with that and uh, oh gosh and we are behind already well this is very disappointing isn't it we're on this kind of losing streak at the moment and uh, I mean there's still time to get back into it it's happened early on but um, I don't know we're not having a good time of it at the moment That was a very close one. It was a good strike. But uh, it really shouldn't have been in my opinion. I don't think we should have let them have that. 1-0. Oh, scatterseen he's got through. He's got through. What's he going to do? Oh, yes. That is a terrific header. Didn't think he was going to get to that, but he did. Immediate response. Much, much better from us. I'm thinking if we were to beat... Um, Peterborough in that last game honestly I think we probably should have just played it wider maybe even the 4-4-2 formation we maybe should have just stuck with it and who knows oh here we are here we are here we are is it going to be oh it's a good shot chance from the corner then should have been, maybe. Is that going to be a header? No, it's not. Is there going to be a shot? Oh, he's put it out for another corner. I mean, we'll take it. It's in. Is it going to be? Oh, goalkeeper gathers. I'm just wondering how we would um, cope with League One with the team we've got, you know. I mean, if we do buy anyone, if I do stick with the team. Oh, good save. Um, you know, I mean, how would we cope with it? Would it be more difficult? Well, obviously, it would be a little bit more difficult, obviously, but um, I don't know. I reckon we could still get promoted. Oh, good take. That was a good header by Clark. And surely this is going to be a good shot. Scatacini with the goal. That's more like it. And again... You know, looks like one of those similar goals, but we'll take that. Scott has seen he got quite close in. All you had to do was hit that uh, kind of low and hard, and he did that right. Oh, here we are again. Here we are again. Can we do that? It's over. Can he put it? Oh, it was meant to go back into the middle there, but uh, Clark put it out instead. Well, half time. Yeah, we're, we're looking comfortable. We had that early scare where they did score, but we've pulled ourselves back into it. Here's Clark. Here's Clark. He's done well. It's a good curling effort. Off the line. Unbelievable. Oh, here we are. Oh, we really needed to make more of that than we did. And is this going to be? Hopefully not. It's away. And it's wide. Well, well, well. We'll thank our lucky stars for that one. Oh, he's got Tassini with the chance. And a header, and goalkeeper gets back up to it in time from Clark. Oh dear. And to finish it, no, it had to be. We're still in the ahead, but that really needed to be a finish. Come on, can we do this? Can we do this? That's a good ball. It's over the middle. It's been a long, hard slog this game. Can he finish it? Oh, great tick by the keeper there. That's beautiful. Keeping the ball here. Solid defending. And there is the full time whistle. We have done it then. Well, that was a hard one. And um, following the the previous result in the in, in the league trophy, uh, we've done really well to come back here today.
So uh, here are the round one results then uh, for the FA Cup. So uh, Swansea knocked out there. Bury gone through gets Boston on penalties as well. Uh, Oxford beat Cambridge 3 0, which is kind of surprising because Cambridge have been doing well and Oxford haven't. Uh, uh, Kidderminster have beaten Cheltenham 4 2 on penalties. Rochdale go through against Scunthorpe. Leighton Orient knocked out against Shrewsbury on penalties. A lot of penalty shootouts here. Chester go through against Macclesfield. Obviously, we went through, so let's have a look who we're going to be facing in round two then. Uh, Bristol, Brentford, Grimsby, Stockport, Milton Keynes, Hull. Uh, nothing on there. Peter Gray got Rushton. Yeovil playing Wrexham there. Uh, nothing on there so far. We're not on it yet. Still not on it. Still not on it again. You can pause this to look at some of them if you want. Are we going to be here? And we're going to be playing Rochdale. Rochdale, who we just beat in the league as well. Uh, so yeah, that's I can, we can handle that, I reckon. And I reckon we could get through to round three. All right then, so the final game of this episode then, and we're going to be uh, against Chester. We're going to be aware for this one. And um, yeah, in the league, it's still going all right. We're still top of the pile. Um, but we've had two cup games in this episode, so we're going to end off with a league game. So we've got one of each uh, tournament, pretty much, in this one. Although we have been knocked out of one um, of them. Uh, so going back to the 4-4-2 for the league. Uh, as usual, uh, Wainwright is in there. Russell, Collag and Clark in the midfield. Uh, only one change there. I think I put, was it close in that... So uh, right was it right back I put him in a, I can't quite remember but um yeah I'm I'm constantly just switching around the left and right backs all the time. Valentine is unhappy yet again, so his happiness didn't last very long. Um but I'm hoping for a good game here and uh if we win uh we can move on and uh closer to the league title hopefully. Well I would think now they'll think about renewing the manager's contract, won't they? Here they come. Oh, this isn't good. They're going to whip this one in. It needs to be gotten away. Goalkeeper gathers. It would have been offside, though, I think, though. Had the other player got to it, I don't know. There, there was nothing given anywhere. Here they come again. Close has got to chase it down. It's away. Yeah, got to remember that we're the away side in this. So the blue dots on the radar are us. And... Uh, and whatnot. <laughs> the red eye is actually really useful. I use it all the time. I never used to use the red eye in any football game before. Um, before I started to use it in PES, so I used to use it in like PES six. That was like the first time I ever used to use it, and I kind of got more used to it. I kind of like, you know, when you 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 you've got the ball and you're in possession, for example, and then you can look for players that are making runs on the red eye on the bottom of the screen and. I kind of always used to like not use it, but then I kind of started using it, and it's a way that's a good save, and um, yeah, it, it got quite uh, it got a lot better for me, and it's really it really does help out if you can master using it quite a lot. And here is Converi. Ah, oh, he's not going to get a shot in at all. He could go right through here. And Scartacini, he's still got it, he's done well. It's going to go into the middle. Is it going to be? Ah, oh, it's not. It's going to be a way. I think Chester are like 20 fed in the league or something like that, so I need a good performance from them. And... Oh, that was just enough to put him off there. That could have easily been a goal as well. He had, I think my, my defender just kind of nudged him there to move him. And, oh, Converi couldn't get through. Converi being our best striker this season. I know Scartacini did pretty well when, uh, like, in the first few games he played and whatnot, and then he kind of got back on the score sheet, and then Clark came into it a bit, and... Oh, off target yet again, luckily enough for us. Having a few problems at the back here. It's been a bit of a bland first half, to be honest, this. We haven't really had that many chances. Uh, I don't even think we've had a, an attempt on goal yet, have we? But, uh, or one back, and going to be half time, not even going to get a chance there. But uh, no, it's uh, it's been okay, but we need to have more chances though. Here we are then, uh, second half's going to kick off. Um, I might put Clark on, I'm not sure. Uh, basically, I'm just playing whoever's on the, the best form, really, who's got the best form. I think, uh, I think Converi had an 8.8 .8 not long back, which has been the highest, I believe, out of anyone so far. 
That's going to run in there. And, oh, enough on him to put him off yet again there. Having too many chances for my liking. And this team's like bottom of the league, I believe. Or at least near to the bottom of the league. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, cool and there. He got himself forward and he got the shot away. But it wasn't enough. And is that a free kick? It is a free kick there. I don't think we're going to have enough space to shoot, so I think we're going to have to just... Uh, well, I mean, we could do, but... Uh, oh, wait, is it? Oh, we don't have an option here. We have to shoot. Well, well I don't know about this one, then. Um, let's just go for it and hook. Well, that's way off. <laughs> you never know, we could get a bit of luck. No, it's going to be taken by the keeper instead. 65 minutes gone and really no chances in this one for us so far. They've had all the chances, but luckily enough they haven't scored any of those chances. I say that and we grab a goal there <laughs> as well from Scartacini. Well, well, well. Kind of against the run of play almost. I mean, they've been having a lot more chances than us. I think that has to be said. Yeah, it was a well executed goal, John. No doubt about it. Well, Ali, perhaps you've got a better view of that than I did. Well, it's plain to see the lads have worked on this in training. A wonderful passing sequence ends up with a striker through. And a so it's uh, it's one nil to us. Uh, I think we'll think about substitutes in just a second. Then, um, nice ball. To be honest, I. Uh, I don't know, I, I don't even think we even deserve that goal, I mean the way we've been playing in this one it's kind of weird. I'm actually going to bring off Scartacini just for a little bit um, I don't know really, just because he he's, he's done well and he's grabbed us a goal today but uh, I think that Clark is just a little bit better than him, even though it kind of states that uh, Clark is um, I think he's only like a half a star player and Scott is yeah, like a star and a half or something but uh, yeah Convery is a two star player I believe now um, I, do, I can't remember if he started off as one and a half but he's, I think he's improved and that's not a penalty no way is that a penalty here they come there's like literally a minute left to go in this one surely they're not gonna score Oh, please, no! What a chance that was. How did we escape? I don't know how we've escaped all their efforts today, honestly. I think we've been lucky to um, to pick up a result here today, honestly. Really lucky. 90th minute of the game. Keep the possession. We should see it through. I honestly don't know. I don't even... Just, it's been one of those lucky wins, I suppose, this well, one. Oh. Yep, the it is. It has been a lucky win ball. today, it has to be and said, I think. Here, and, uh, yeah, well, we can't complain, we've so won. We've won, so, so that just uh, boosts and our league chances here, even further for the title. Today, a lot. See you all next time. Well, as you can see then, we are still top of the league, only by four points now, though. Um, so yeah, we've played 18, um, we're not even halfway through the fixtures yet, we've still got like five games to go before we're even halfway through, but we're getting there, uh, we are definitely getting there, uh, Yeovil still four behind us, um, we have a game in hand over Northampton and Cambridge, so that's a good thing, um, Southend still have uh, a couple of, well they have a game in hand over us, um, but that would only put them up to like uh, 32 points, so they could be chasing Yeovil still, I suppose. Um, moving down to the bottom, then, uh, as we can see, and uh, no, was it? Che where are Chester in the league? Let me just look. Are they no, they're a bit higher. I thought it was. Um, I think I was getting Chester and Cheltenham. Uh, mixed up or something as I thought they were lower down I thought they were like 23rd or something but they're not uh, Oxford's still down there uh, Swansea move up quite a bit there they've got a few, wind un few wins under their belt now on 22 points so they're Fairer above relegation and uh, Scunthorpe still sit last as well. So anyway guys, uh, in the next episode we're going to be starting out with a home match against Scunthorpe so that might be an interesting one. They are 
think dead last aren't they or something like that um, in the league uh, then we're going to be home again to Rushton uh, as well and then we're going to be at home again to Kidderminster we've got three home games coming up in the next episode so anyway guys thank you for watching this episode and we'll end up in December as well we'll finish up in December so we're getting through to halfway point of the season now and uh, yeah thanks for watching this episode yeah we didn't get through in the cup uh, which was disappointing uh, and whatnot, but um, you know we'll uh, we'll carry on, and we're still in the FA Cup, and we're still in the League Cup, so we're not doing too bad. So thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. See you then.